Okay, so here's my October 8th grocery haul. It's $106. Um, we'll get started. So we're going to make some of our own homemade pizza. So I got the pizza dough. Um, I got two. One to put in the freezer for later on. Um, I think this was a dollar eighty-nine or a dollar ninety-nine. Just take it out a couple hours before you're going to use it and let it sit in a oiled bowl covered, and it rises and it gets to be easy to work with. So we're going to do that. Steamer vegetables. I'm going to make homemade pot chicken pot pie. Um, I think these were two twenty-nine. Got the Simply Potatoes again. They were on sale. Like this time I got the hash browns. Um, these are just good for a lot of different recipes, but I am going to make the breakfast casserole of one of my uh, YouTube friends um, made, and I've made it in the past, and it's absolutely delicious. So I'm going to use these instead of the chunky potatoes I used the last time. Um, pepperoni for the pizza. That was like $3.99. Mascarpone cheese. Um, it's kind of like a regat slash cream cheese, but just got the small containers at $1.99. It's uh, three ounces. Um, I don't know, you can put it on toast. You can mix it in when you're making like a creamy cheese sauce. It just has a really mild, nice, nice flavor. Uh, Nature Valley, these were on sale. I think they were $1.99. These are the sweet and salty. And the cashew dipped. Um, six bars those into the pantry for you know snack on the go kind of thing. Um roll cheese um $1.99 eight ounces so it's two cups. We're gonna have that as one of the toppings for the pizza. Um Entenmann's apple cider donuts these were on sale half off I think they were like three dollars something like that. It's an eight pack um pumpkin spice rolls little Debbie cake rolls um just gotta absorb all the pumpkin spice you can this fall so on that note the pepperidge farm swell bread pumpkin spice this was $2.99 i think um scotty tissue facial tissue um i think these were 88 cents i got two of those just to have cold and flu season coming upon us hopefully we won't need to use them but we'll have them if we do. Um, hefty slider storage bags. Um, and half and half. And Linda Lakes. I usually don't buy Linda Lakes. I usually buy the store brand, but I did purchase it before and it was really, really good. It's so creamy. I don't know that, that, what's different about it. Um, um, the same line with pumpkin spice, the Dunkin' Donuts brand pumpkin spice. I think this was on sale for six ninety nine, regular seventy nine, seven ninety nine. So it's a dollar off. It's a decent, a decent savings. Um, my husband's gonna have his flavored creamers, but you know, I I use them too on occasion. So we got the International Delight Cinnabon. I I'm not brand loyal. I just go with the sale of the week because these things are really expensive. It's like four dollars. It lasts us about a week and a half, or maybe two weeks, but, um, you know, why not buy them when they're on sale? And we get to try out the different flavors when we try the different brands. One brand is as good as the next, so. Um, polar Seltzer, no, it's not Polar Seltzer this time, Black Cherry, Polar. It's a New England company. I don't know if they have it nationwide. They're out of Worcester, Mass. Black Cherry Soda. And it's only a quart, so it doesn't go flat before we can drink it all. Um, Gatorade, I think these were 88 cents, just a quart of milk, um, pizza sauce for the pizza, Classico, I've never used this brand of pizza sauce, but I have used the jarred sauce in the past, I typically make my own, but I'm sure it'll be delicious, it looks really thick. Um, we've got the can, can cat food, the fancy feast, um, I don't know, these were just some little Impulse purchase, mini croissants with vanilla custard, and there's six in there. Just a little snack if you're having a cup of tea, or even a glass of milk. Um, they said they're Bali, authentic Italian mini croissants with vanilla custard. I don't know how bad they could be. Custard is delicious. Um, yep, a standard Oikos toasted coconut. This was a 
$2.99 this sweet. Couldn't resist. My six cans. No, three cans of bumblebee tuna. Solid white albacore. And one can of bumblebee white chicken. The white chicken is really, really good. Uh, Libby's whole corn. Bananas. They were 49 cents. They're pretty big this week. I usually try to get the smaller ones, but hey, 49 cents is a good deal. Two jazz apples. Um, I haven't gotten to any of the orchards to, to grab some freshly picked, but these are usually local farms that provide our grocery stores with the produce. Um, butternut squash. Uh, 79 99 cents. One green pepper for our pizza. Two kiwi. I think they were four for $2. Um, carrot cake. It's a two slice pack for three forty nine. Um, we can either eat, have one whole piece per sitting or we can share it and get two, two desserts out of it. We'll just say they're pretty big. We can, it just depends on how much snacking we'll do. Um, Genoa salami, uh, fear Fiorucci, never tried it, but it's Genoa, so I'm sure it's good. Um, Sorber and Munster cheese. Munster is one of my favorite cheeses. We didn't get the Swiss because we had some from last week that we didn't use up. It's nice and dry. Um, nice and um, airtight, so it didn't dry out. Um, we got this roast beef uh, last week or the week before. It makes really nice sandwiches. On the rarer side, I don't know if some people find that a little bit offensive, but the rarer the more tender the meat seems. 18 pack of eggs. They were um, $1.59, $1.89. Um, so I'm going to make that egg casserole. So I'll use about eight or nine just to do that. I'm going to boil up some for egg salad. So that we'll go through that. I have a few left from last week. Um, three Luna bars just to have in a pinch. Um, no time to eat or whatever. Um, Eastern potatoes, this is a five pound bag of Eastern potatoes. They were $1.88. I did the steamers, okay. And then the last thing, um, the family pack of hamburger. It's 2.35 pounds, 9.38 for the total package, 3.99 a pound. So I'm just gonna split that up into probably three portions. Two like, um, three quarter to 0.8 packages and one a little smaller because we do tacos for two sometimes and so the smaller amount is about a half a pound of ground beef and that's perfect for the tacos for two so that's pretty much how I've been packaging don't need a full pound of hamburger and um, this Italian sausage the bulk it's just a bulk sausage so I can fry it up for um, a pizza topping so I'll just put that, the pepper, onions, all in a frying pan, get them all cooked up, and they'll be ready when it's time to top the pizza. Um, we have some olives in the fridge. Um, so I'm going to make, make that for actually tonight. So, And then just got a uh, family-style pack of the boneless chicken breast, boneless skinless, um, $1.99 pound beef are ginormous. I usually cut them, you know, fillet them into two pieces and cook four so that I, you know, we have a little bit of leftovers. But these, I'm only going to fillet it and cook two, the one chicken breast, because these are ginormous. Okay, so don't look at my sink, it's a mess. So here's the grocery haul for the week. And it was 106. And thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.